And hello, 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 hello out there to all of you who are in the sound of my voice and however you're watching this on whichever social media platform, honey. This is Demetrius Big Meets Taylor, baby, coming at you live and in living color. And I want to talk to you for just a second uh, about this thing here. I'm trying to catch this because I want you to catch this back. So let me see if I can do this and then let me. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Okay, oh, right there. That's what I want. Oh, that's what I want, baby. Now, let me turn the camera so we can get the whole big old... It ain't going to give me that, but I like the panoramic view. Okay, let me see. Uh-uh, wait a minute. There we go. There we go. See that? Ha! Ah, okay. Look at that. Yes. Y'all can see that. Yeah, there we go. Uh-huh. That's the Atlanta skyline, honey. Uh, I'm on the rooftop of the Georgian Terrace Hotel at this particular time, and I'm giving you this. But let me be quick, because I only have a few seconds to do this little um, recording. Um, before I get started, of course, subscribe and click the buttons and carry on right here and right now so that you can get an update on all of my videos that I post up. Editorials, commentaries, honey, to all of my tea sippers and crumpet dunkers out there, honey. Let's do this thing, honey, for a little tea and crumpets. Oh, you're dishing tea with big meats right here and right now. Now, I'm going to be quick, hopefully. <laughs> Y'all know I like to talk. Um, this whole thing with, with Nike... And Colin Kaepernick, um, I mean, Colin Kaepernick and carrying on. Um, listen, sweeties, you burning your shoes, you protesting Nike and carrying on. Why? Okay, why? Because the man need to make a living because Nike decided to endorse him and understand what his cause is. What is it that you guys think uh, is so disrespectful? Because you guys are missing the mark and missing the message. Okay, now let's 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 go there. I have heard a number of you children sitting up here saying that, okay, you know what? This is all about disrespecting the flag and uh, disrespecting the troops. And wait a minute, I don't have enough light right there. I'm trying to get comfortable. Y'all saying this is about dis uh, uh, disrespecting the troops and disrespecting those who have. Uh, fought for the country and et cetera, et cetera. Honey, well, I'm here to tell you that y'all are gravely mistaken, okay? I'm trying to get comfortable to get this little view, honey. Is that cute for y'all? And then give myself enough light, but uh, I keep getting out of the light. Um, but I have a problem because it seems as though you guys are, uh, you guys are insisting on making this something that it is, that it is not about. And then for those of you who feel as though, uh, well, you come to work, this is the wrong platform for you to be protesting, darling, that is the proper format because it is a silent protest, it is taking a knee, and it is a proper way to show respect to the flag without being disrespectful. Now, when he first got started, remember, he used to sit down. He did not stand at all. He stayed seated. Now, to sit down I was the disrespect because that means you wasn't paying attention. You had complete disregard for the flag, for everything about it. OK, the national anthem and this and the other. Now, I never did like the national anthem. I thought it was a stupid song. I've always thought America the Beautiful should have been the national anthem. However, who am I? Right. Uh, but you guys wanted to make this into something that it is not. And you guys completely forget, for those of you who are soldiers, for those of you who fought for the country, for those of you who have given your service, I always salute my soldiers. As a matter of fact, uh, I always feel as though that we don't do enough to honor you. You know what I'm saying? And particularly those who have given the ultimate sacrifice. Uh, those families that care, no, we don't do enough. But you guys seem to forget that he took a knee on the advisement of uh, a, a, a serviceman. I forgot if he was in the Navy or the Army. I forgot which branch of service he was in, but he was schooled on that by a serviceman to say, no, you don't disrespect the flag by sitting down. What you do is you kneel, like you go into a cemetery or a gravesite or whatever, where the flag is displayed, you kneel down and you give the respect that way. So that's on the recommendation of a serviceman. So for those of you who can sit up there saying this is a disrespect to the serviceman, how is it disrespectful when he's doing that on the recommendation of a serviceman? 
okay? For those of you burning your damn shoes and shit, well, you know what? That's cute. But child, Nike don't give a good goddamn because child, they got the coin already. You've already bought those shoes. And for those of you who going out to buy shoes just to burn them, honey, what, what sense does that make? That you just throwing money away. How come you got to burn the shoes? Why didn't you just take them up? If you don't want to be bothered with Nike anymore, take those shoes, put them up, get them out of your house. You could have given them to a homeless shelter or something. My road dog in, in New York, he wanted me to make sure that I, I told him I was going to do this. He said, please let them know that my feelings are they could have done, uh, they could have taken that and done something with the homeless. You could have um, t- taken the money. If you're going to buy shoes to burn it, you could have taken the money and fed, you know, clothes somebody you could have put that into the school system to invest into a higher education you could have some done something else besides sitting up there burning money away however i will say this if that is your form of protest and you want to sit down here and say well this is me and my silent protest or whatever okay fine that there is cute and this is that but it's not a protest honey if you gave them the money and you're still going to buy into the system just to burn the damn shoes that's dumb That's dumb as fuck. Okay? And they don't care because they got your coin. They got your coin and they're going to thrive anyway. So, honey, what, 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 what was the protest for? Huh? Y'all went through all of this about Michael Vick with the damn, with the, uh, when, about the dogs and carrying on it. Y'all wanted to make sure this man never played football again and blah, 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 blah. Even after he served his little time or whatever he did, y'all tried to make sure this man had no livelihood. How dare you? If he served his time, then let the man go back to doing what he does. He was a ball player. Now, here we are with, with Colin. Listen, you disagree with him and carrying on, y'all done turn this into something that it is not. And I want all of you who don't want to hear what this protest is about, I want you to explain to me how it is disrespectful to the flag or to the national anthem or to servicemen who have given their lives when it was a serviceman who showed him the proper way to honor the flag, honor the serviceman without being disrespectful. And that was to take a knee. Huh? How is that being disrespectful when that's under the guise of somebody who served for this country? I'm still trying to understand that. I still need for you guys to explain to me um, how is it that you are missing the mark of the message? Because for you, old servicemen, honey, for you to, to have fought for this country, this country still ain't doing you right. This country is still treating our servicemen like damn second class citizens by not giving you all of your benefits, by not sitting up there um, making sure that you have your proper health care, whatever. Do you realize that we got this? There is no such thing or should be no such thing as a homeless veteran. There should be no such thing as a veteran, honey, who does not have who did not have medical care, or whatever, especially if you have served in wartime and you come back injured, you've come back, you know, uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and all of that. There should be no such thing as a veteran who has gone without, particularly in this country, when we got all this money going over here, we got money being wasted on foolish shit. Yet the veterans are still not able to do this, that, and the other. Something just went off. Um, And on top of it, uh, we have not been able to adequately take care of our veterans. There should be no such thing of that. So for those of you who want to sit up there and be upset because the guy... Uh, Colin has taken a knee to, to protest that that citizens are not being treated right, that police brutality is running rampant and carrying on. And he's saying that here, I'm just going to take a knee to the flag because the flag is not representative of what it says. That flag that we're supposed to honor and carry it on, it is flawed. The message or the interpretation of the message is now become flawed. And the country that we stand for, that we love, the only country that I know, because I was born and raised here, I am a black American of African descent, or we could, or, or as someone like to say, I am an indigenous person of this country, honey. This is all I know is America. I was born here, I was raised here. I, I have African roots and carrying on, but this is the country that I know. So because of that, if what we say we stand for, what the country is supposed to mean, and it's not and it's not being set up to that, then how I protest should be how I protest. Now, 
you know, it's a debate about whether or not folks can burn the flag and this, that, and the other. And personally, I think when times like that, if folks want to burn the flag like that, honey, it's just a piece of fabric. And you are sitting up there saying, you know, I, I'm, I'm burning it because of what you say you stand for. This flag doesn't mean that. And I'm going to tell you something that, that for me personally, I have chosen that the flag that I want to fly would be the uh, Juneteenth flag. There's a flag that has been created to celebrate Juneteenth, which is the, uh, the official day that Texas finally got the memo and has freed all of the slaves. All of the slaves became free two years after the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. So when I discovered that there is a flag that is representative of Juneteenth, that is the flag that I would love to fly and have clothes out of and carry it on. The regular American flag, I have reserve on that because that flag has always been an Achilles heel to people of color in this particular country, particularly black folks, and now Latinos and carrying on because we, we in this whole big old racial divide. Everybody else, Asian Americans and Jewish people and those who, who are other immigrants who have come to this country, have made a living in this country, are they seem to be more protected than those who are indigenous to this country and are, and are people of color. So because of that, you want to sit down here and make this something that it is not. This is not a disrespect to the soldiers. As a matter of fact, this here is to sit down there and, and, and to fortify the fight because it is saying that you're not being treated well either. How many of you are out there being abused and carried on? We've seen some some servicemen uh, abused by the police and things of that nature. This here is about the freedom of being must live and let live. And how come I cannot be and, and have what this country says it stands for? So for those of you who still think that 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 is not the message that you want to claim that somebody's being disrespectful to the fallen soldiers or to those who have served this country, I need for you to explain it. Because it is a serviceman who gave him the, the and showed him the proper way to still um, respect the flag and to still give honor to those who fought for this country by taking a knee and not sitting on his ass. And or I feel it would be a disrespect for them to stay in the locker room when it's played and then come out later that there, that would be a slap in the face. OK, but we have allowed other entities to come up in here and nobody wants to hear the struggle. In fact, nobody even want to talk about it. Y'all still keep wanting to say this is not the proper platform. Well, tell us what is what is the proper platform? Because if we start marching, y'all guys think that everybody's trying to riot. If they start sitting there writing letters to the congressman, that goes unheard. If it, if we get lobbies or whatever, then you're saying that we're sitting up there uh, trying to push an agenda. And see, it's, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't kind of thing. So here's the thing. If you feel as though it's disrespect, what do you say should be the proper way to do a silent protest with and, and still um, and still have respect to the flag if you don't believe that this particular protest is the way to do it, because nobody has answered that question. Y'all keep saying, oh, that's a disrespect. That's a, spra a slap in the face to those who serve the country. And they're saying, no, it's not. And the countryman, someone who served has is the one that said, no, this is the proper way to do it. For those of you who want to burn Nike shoes and carry it on, that's your prerogative. But I'm calling you a damn fool because you already gave them your money. They don't care what the fuck you do with the shoes, child. They got the coin. So be that as it may. So with that being said, child. Uh, I'm going to offer that if you don't want the shoes anymore because you disagree with them using Colin in the ad or whatever, and it's a beautiful ad for what it, it, it's always been about overcoming obstacles and things. Nike has always been about just do it, you know, go out there and face adversity and care. They've always been that way. So if that's the case, then tell us or give examples of what should be the quote unquote proper way to do this and carry it on. Because remember, those who take it and need, they're coming from families that have servicemen and carry it on, grandparents and great grandparents and uncles and things who have served. So it's not a disrespect because they're all servicemen. 
The, the, some of them have probably served. Some of them been in ROTC and carrying on and understand what the, what this is. So it's not a disrespect. And, and for those of you who feel that way, I can't tell you how to feel. I'm hoping that I could get you to see how to react differently. Just like you're hoping that you could get them to see how to protest differently. Well, give some ideas, give some suggestions. Let's find out what it is because you're saying it's a disrespect to the flag. And I'm trying to tell you it's not. And, and and I'm I with a with a number of people don't feel that it is a disrespect to the flag. I think that if he had sat down and played a whole disregard to it, that was a disrespect when he was first doing it. Because mm -mm. that brought attention. It was like, uh-uh, wait a minute, what's up? You know what I'm saying? So let's let us come to the table with so if you say there's other solutions, then provide them. Show us and and, and give the world what you think should be the solution to the knee thing versus having them fired and all this old stupid ass shit that that um, the White House resident is trying to sit up there and say he is one of the reasons or one of the ones that have turned this into oh you're disrespecting the flag no and because he's on this fucking bandwagon he is sitting up there feeding the father fueling the fire with his father and carrying on and try to get the people upset and it, this is not what the hell that is this is not what that is and if you cannot hear that tell me what you're hearing instead and on that note, let me get up out of here because I got to finish doing what I'm doing. If you love me, tell a friend, honey. If you hate me, tell an enemy. But do know this one way, shape, style, form, or fashion, everything that I'm doing will move forward, okay? Remember, go to www.dishingtea.com for everything Dishing Tea. Subscribe to me everywhere on all of my social media platforms. I am Big Meech, number one, M-B-I-G-M-E-A-C-H, the number one on most platforms, or Big Meech 710. Nine. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, my darling. So until the next time that I, I post, I will talk to you guys later. Ha ha ha, child. Dunk your crumpets, baby, and you may finish all of your tea because the tea has been dished. And you've been dishing tea, darlings, with Big Meat. Ha.